Hello everyone and welcome to the semi-finals of the Opera Euro Rapid Knockouts. It's Magnus Carlsen versus Maxime Vachier Lagrave and already we have uh, another clash of uh, who knows uh, their stuff better. Uh, it's another uh, Grunfeld masterpiece. Now we just have to check if it's a masterpiece on how to play against the Grunfeld or how to play the Grunfeld. So uh, without further ado, let's check it out. Magnus Carlsen with the white pieces opens with d4. Uh, we have knight to f6. Uh, we have c4, g6, uh, knight to c3, and d5. So the Grunfeld defense is on the board. And we have a trade in the center. Captors, captors, and now not e4 as we uh, we usually see, but here Magnus goes for bishop to d2. So preparing to kick away the knight with e4 next, and then if this knight captures, then bishop captures and c3 comes, and then this bishop is uh, very nicely developed and will be able to counter black's, uh, uh, black's bishop on g7. So here, bishop to g7, Magnus pushes e4, and now not captures, but rather knight to b6. And this is a, a very well-known line for both of them, so they just nicely continue. The d4 pawn is under attack, so uh, bishop to e3, uh, defending it twice now, and Maxime castles. We have h3 by Magnus, and e5 now, striking in the center, asking do you want to go d5, and then I'm going to undermine your pawn with c6, or uh, do you just want to defend it? So here, Magnus just defends it, we have f3. And e captures on d4. Bishop captures, offering a trade of dark square bishops and knight to c6. So this has all been played before, nothing new here. Uh, bishop captures on g7, offering a queen trade. Maxime trades, captures on d1, rook captures, and king captures on g7. And now bishop to b5, threatening to ruin uh, black spawn structure here on the queen side. So knight to b4. Uh, and now comes a3, pushing back the knight, knight to c2 check, of course, uh, doesn't really do anything if you deliver this check, king d2, and then your knight is trapped, nothing to, to do here. So after a3, uh, first we have a6, pushing the bishop back, so then you can retreat with knight to c6, or you can just trade everything, uh, but that's not really something uh, white is looking for. So bishop back to e2, knight back to c6, and now comes knight to d4, and this is a new move. There is a, a well-known game between between Laquang Liam and Vladislav Artemiev from the 2017 Blitz uh, uh, tournament in China uh, where uh, Castles was played. But here, like I said, we have Knight to D4 and it is uh, as of move 16 that we have a, a completely new game. So it's a, a, a quite, quite a, a, a long familiar line. We have Knight captures on D4, Rook captures and the Bishop to E6. Now Ma uh, Maxim just wants to play uh, Rook to D8 uh, and the trade off uh, the Rooks along the D file and he equ equalized. He doesn't really uh, have anything to worry about. So Magnus castles, rook f to d8, offering a rook trade, and Magnus doubles up on the d file. Rook f to d1, Maxime trades once, captures, captures, and now you can see that the material is completely equal. Both players have a knight, bishop, six pawns, uh, but Magnus for the moment controls the d file, and uh, Maxime has to do something about this as, uh, well, the, the player who controls the open files. Uh, will have a much better game. So Maxime starts with king to f6. He wants to bring his king to e7, so he can play rook to d8 and trade off the, the pair of rooks. We have f4 by Magnus, using this opportunity to grab more space here. The pawns nicely control everything, and making room for his king to also enter the game. So king e7, preparing rook to d8, and now comes king to f2. We have rook to d8, and now king to e3. Magnus wants the trade to happen here, so he can further improve the activity of his king. We have rook captures on d4, uh, king captures, and now f6, not allowing the white king to go any further. Uh, we have h4 by Magnus, and now comes knight to d7. And this knight to d7 is not the uh, perhaps the most precise way to uh, play this with black, but unless you know exactly what to do here, it's not all that easy to find a move here with black. Uh, bishop to b3 seems like an idea, taking away some of the squares from the white king. Also very interesting is just a5, uh, preventing b4 in the future. Uh, and also if king to c5 then you can just go bishop d7 and you have all of the squares covered the the white king cannot approach and if bishop to b5 you can just go back bishop to e6 and uh, it's a it's a very nice position to play for black but okay uh, maxime went knight to d7 now maybe with ideas of playing c5 but magnus stops it in its tracks he pushes b4 himself and it's always a special moment in every game uh, where someone plays b4 so here h6 by maxime just uh 
uh, strengthening the position on the king side and here uh, Magnus goes a4 uh, there is the uh, the idea of maybe going knight to d5 check if the bishop captures then you further improve the uh, position of your king you can even capture with the pawn but maybe better with the king and if king d6 uh, then it seems like you have this knight captures on f6 knight captures an e5 check but it, it's uh, a very unclear what does white really gain from it captures captures and you still uh, don't have a good way of entering the game king c5 and all of these squares are covered so your king isn't really going anywhere and if you want to continue pushing then a4 and so on so instead of going for all of this magnus starts with a4 and he says i always have this let's just improve the position uh, as much as we can first so here g5 by maxim and now g3 just defending the pawns g captures on f4 g captures and now uh, knight to b8 by maxim and this is a classic case of um, of you know uh, digging digging your own grave this knight is never leaving the b8 square the knight had to come to f8 and then from f8 the, the knight would be able to join uh, in the game uh, depending on what white plays maybe via the e6 square maybe via the g6 square maybe via h5 uh, and then uh, via the f6 square but after this knight to f8 move uh, there is uh, really no hope for this knight and here magnus goes for it knight to d5 check uh, and now the, both of these pawns are under attack so you have to trade here bishop captures with e captures taking away the c6 square from the knight and now comes b6 but now uh, feel free to pause the video and try to you know get the feel of the position uh, you're magnus here what would you play uh, black really doesn't have much but best not to give him anything so feel free to pause the video what do you play here with white uh, while i give you a couple of seconds So uh, uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on taking uh, away any hopes of black surviving this. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's not a five it's actually h5 with h5 this knight is uh forever stuck here and there there are no hopes uh the, the knight cannot go here if you go here you cannot go here or here if you go here you cannot go here so everything is taken if you go here you can't go here so just a terrible terrible position for uh for black and also it uh, kind of creates a way uh for example if if the black king and the knight are attend to the queen side then you have a very clear way of entering the position with your king so not a lot for black to do here. Maxim tried a5, but Magnus just captures here. B captures, B captures, and now king to c5. And now what do you do here? Uh, for the moment, the knight and pawn uh, are covering all of these squares, but how do you defend this knight? There's simply no way to do it. So Maxim tries f5. Uh, uh, another thing you could have tried is maybe knight d7 check, but like I said, king c6. Now this pawn is under attack, and once the king defends it, bishop to f3. You defend this pawn because knight to b6 is coming, uh, but uh, it, it doesn't really matter. King to king to b5 to, a, uh, to cap captures an a5 is coming, and there's nothing black can do about this. So instead, after king to c5, we have f5 by Maxim, uh, but now just. Uh, uh, bishop to b5 taking away the d7 square from the from the king and even though maxim is uh, one minute up on the clock uh, maxim has some five minutes on the clock magnus says four uh, but it doesn't really matter there are no moves for maxim left uh, and uh, here king to d8 is played uh, again if you go for knight to d7 check here magnus just trades it's not a problem captures captures king b5 and they both will get a pass pawn and push their pawns but maxim calculates precisely that uh, it's simply impossible but i will show it as it comes down to one tempo king d6 king captures on a5 king captures on d5 uh, and now after king to b5 making room for the pawn now comes c5 uh, pushing the pawn uh, or you can play c6 check and then c5 doesn't really matter it's the same a5 c4 a6 c3 a7 c2 and it seems like black is queening but white queens with check and that's just it once the king moves uh you can just uh play anything just cut off uh, the king from reaching the pawn uh, defend c1 and that's just game so here after bishop to b5 this is impossible maxim played king to d8 but now magnus just played knight to d4 a uh, king to d4 uh and it was in this position on move 36 that maxim vachel grab resigned the game as there is nothing more to be done here the king will just uh, gobble up all of these pawns and there's nothing you can do about this this knight can never enter the game once you play this the bishop just trades and then it's a completely uh, completely winning king and pawn end game you can try something like this but just captures captures king e5 and that's it you gobble up the pawns and black has no hope whatsoever of surviving this so of course maxim knows this and here uh, he resigned so another another brilliant example of maxim going for his uh, 
uh, Grunfeld against Magnus for I don't know what time already, and uh, he completely neutralizes every threat uh, Magnus has. So this is how good uh, uh, Maxim is in this. But somewhere at this point, uh, after all 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 this has been done, so uh, th this holds for Black. Everything is perfectly fine. But here already one slight mistake, and then uh, at this moment uh, when we said that the knight should have uh, come to f8, this is just uh, game over. After the knight comes to b8, that's that's just it, and uh, we we might even use this as a, as a thumbnail since this is definitely the uh, where it all went wrong for uh, for Maxime. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Alexander Graf, uh, a mystery person, Mladen Juric, Nikolas Hoffman, and Michael Sakarias for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. Continuing the coverage uh, of the semifinals, checking up on your wonderful suggestions, and whatever else happens in the chess world. So thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.